Black Business History, Alonzo Herndon Alonzo Herndon Alonzo Franklin Herndon, June 26, 1858 Walton County, Georgia, July 21, 1927, was an African-American entrepreneur and businessman in Atlanta, Georgia. Born into slavery in 1858, in Walton County, Georgia, Alonzo was the son of Safini, and a white father, likely her enslaver, Frank Herndon, who was from a wealthy slaveholding family. His father never acknowledged paternity of him. In 1865, Alonzo, aged seven, and his family were freed from slavery, including his mother, grandparents, and his younger brother. The family entered emancipation in destitution. From a very young age, Herndon worked as a laborer and a peddler to help support his family as sharecroppers. In 1878, Herndon left social circle on foot with $11 in savings and approximately one year of formal schooling. He eventually settled in Sonoya, Georgia to work as a farmhand, it was in Sonoya where he learned the trade of barbering. Herndon was considered a good barber at the time serving blacks and many white men in those days. Herndon opened up his first barber shop in Jonesboro, Georgia. His barbering business thrived and he expanded his enterprise to three barbershops in Atlanta by 1905, including a large one at 66 Peachtree Street that he fitted out with luxurious furnishings named the Crystal Palace. His barbershops catered to the upper echelon of society such as doctors, lawyers, senators, and businessmen. One of his large, refined, barbershops serving white customers was damaged by white rioters during the 1906 Atlanta race riot. In 1905, he became the founder and president of what he built to be one of the United States' most well-known and successful African-American businesses, the Atlanta Family Life Insurance Company, Atlanta Life. Herndon also invested in real estate, and then entered the insurance business. He began by buying a failing mutual aid association. In 1922, the company was reorganized as Atlanta Life Insurance Company, and became one of five African-American insurance companies at the time to achieve legal reserve status. Atlanta Life's business thrived and expanded their business into Florida, Kansas, Kentucky, Missouri, Tennessee, and Texas. Through his enterprises, Herndon became Atlanta's first black millionaire. In 1893, Herndon married Adrienne Elizabeth McNeil, a professor at Atlanta University who helped him gain an education and refinement. They had one son together, Norris B. Herndon. Herndon died in Atlanta on July 21, 1927 at the age of 69. His son, Norris B. Herndon, became notable in his own right, expanding the insurance company into a multi-million dollar empire.